and we're back. Hey, everybody. Hi, Carol. She's here with me. <laughs> I am so happy. But today we're going to Hollow Scream at SeaWorld San Antonio. It looks like it's going to be busier, be busier than Fright, uh, Fright Fest was yesterday. Hollow Scream is free as long as you have a um, either a ticket or a pass. Um, all the haunts are free. But also it's Saturday, so expect there to be more people. But we're excited to check out their new haunt and also try out maybe some of their drinks. We'll see if we're up to it or not. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Drinks. The drinks. Oh, and if we have, if we can catch it in time, we're also going to check out the spooktacular event that they have going on for the kids. I completely forgot they do have a um, Sesame Street parade and we just missed it. So for their spectacular event, they do have you do have the ability to bring your own bucket, but also they do sell these uh, SeaWorld themed trick or treat bags that you can um, purchase at I think all the stores have them. But um, then you can take up this spectacular event where they give out candy. Um, there's also a, I'm not sure if it's a corn maze or a hay maze. You can also dress up for the for the children's event. Um, the only thing you can't do is wear a mask or kind of any kind of any kind of hood. So it looks like they have trick or treating here. The sign said from five or eleven a.m. to five p.m. And I think they do have. I don't know if they have costume contests. They might, but I know they do have also meet and greets for the with the Sesame Street characters because um, the Sesame Street zone is not too far from here. And also they have the pumpkin character out as well during the day be careful though a portion of the maze does go into the alligators <laughs> it's not. so we're going over to journey to atlantis because i think that's where all the uh, scare actors come out for SeaWorld san antonio they do not have a like stay and scream area it's just whenever uh 7 p.m rolls around is when the house is open and the uh, scare actors come out so we're excited to check it out and also there's i see fog already here's the sirens song they have looks like they come out for four times during the night they also have three bars here halloween theme bars already a little bit longer wait than uh, what I saw at Fright Fest. But once again, it is Saturday night. How you doing, Carol? Hot. <laughs> I'm standing in the sun. <laughs> All right. It's a little past seven. We're about to do at the first house, or our first house during, what's this one called? Curse of Atlantis? Yeah, I think it's Curse of Atlantis. So they just now started letting people in. So we're, one, ready to get out of this heat, but also see what this haunt how this haunt is. <laughs> So we just did a uh, Curse of Atlantis. It's uh, much better than last year. So much better. Um, I don't know. Did it feel like it was longer too? It felt longer. A lot more detail. A lot more props. A lot more scare actors. Uh, just more element. A lot more elements uh, to make it really fun. 
Yeah. Honestly, last year, it was I was not good. a fan of that house. Yeah, they, this year, so far, it's probably one of my favorites. Yeah. And they had that character from uh, SpongeBob make an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. Patrick, Patrick was there. <laughs> but no, it was so fun. Um, definitely a redo. Um, actually, we'll be here next week. Uh, we won't. We probably won't be doing a video, but we're going to be here for an event next week. So we're excited to do that again. One of my favorite parts of the whole house was that it was almost like going through like a I don't know what you call it, like a bounce house, and you just had to like squeeze your way <laughs> through it. Oh, but it was so fun. I kept feeling. I was so worried that somebody was going to be like underneath there, like grabbing was, my legs. Was there a scare actor that kind of ducked down? As yeah, the like at the other end, the scare actor was there, and then he ducked down. So that's why I was like, he's going to grab my legs. But then Randall reminded me they can't touch you, so yeah. I don't know. I'm not but... that. Per I'm not sure if that pertains to feet, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so fun. I really enjoyed that house. Oh. Beware, Jack the Ripper. Right, we're on our way to, um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's Manor, what is it called? Manor Creek? I just call it the Manor. The Manor. Yeah, it's probably called something else. I, I believe it's called Manor Creek, so we're on our way there. Um, if we have enough time, we're going to run back and catch the Monster Stop show. Or get some drinks. You never know. We're close. It was Milton Creek Manor, and they actually have, uh, I don't think they had these out last year. Here's the Z bar. This is another that option. The monster smashed. I'm gonna have to try that later. Ooh, that looks good. Right, so we're trying out the grave digger. Got this nice little mug. Hopefully our camera's okay. I think it got a little overheated once we did Milton Manor. Milton, Milton Creek Manor. But um, we did a review of that. We'll probably go back and redo that. Unless it went through, then we'll, we're fine. But we just did um, Monster Stop. It's, that's an amazing show. It's a good show. I think it's very similar to what it was last year, but last year was good. Was good. So, so you don't need to change it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have a good um, viewing of it because we got we've got our nice little drink here, and um, what did we get? The grave digger. Yeah, grave digger. Grave digger. Oh, it was so delicious. What it has, it has deliciousness in it, Carol. <laughs> but now we're on to zombie horde.
Lord. So we did Zombie Horde and also Bunny Bradley's, the, whatever the new one is, it's Bunny Bradley's Ice Cream Shop, I think it's called. Yeah. We'll start with the zombie one. Yeah. Um, I thought it was really good. It's always really good. They've had that one for a few years now as well. Um, the only thing is, I always feel rushed going through that one because it's such a, it's a longer area. It's outside. Know. I feel like I, I can't spend as much time like taking it all in. I feel like I'm kind of... Yeah, it's always a good one, but it's also it's also not at the top of our list. Yeah. So... But the scare zone's really fun. Oh, I yeah. I love all the actors, and there was one woman with like uh, a skeleton dog, and we found out the dog's name is Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really cute. And then we did, uh, we made our way on down to Bunny Bradley's ice cream shop. I think I'm saying that. Or ice cream. Yeah, ice cream shop. Ice cream, cream parlor or shop. Something we're like not, that. We're not very good with names. But yeah. So the scare zone. The um, the attire of the, the costumes that they that they're wearing is just. Oh, it's so nice. It's like no. It's very. I'm not sure if it's any kind of like era theme. You can definitely tell they put a lot more effort. Oh yeah. Into the design. Maybe they have more money to work with. I don't know. But all the costumes were very elaborate mm -hmm. and just really well put together and well thought out and so cute and entertaining. We also had a promotion during the uh, last month that if you came a certain week, you got a free uh, skip the line. So we used that for uh, Bunny Bradley because that line was long. Yeah, it was well worth it. The Oh my goodness, that set design, just the jump scares, the actors, it's just, it's just amazing. Like Carol and I were talking about it. It's, we're saying it's better than some of the HHN houses. <laughs> <laughs> we, we moved, it was a little windy. It's very similar, similar comments to what we said about the scare zone. Um, the costumes were fantastic. The set design was elaborately done uh, and really well thought out. Every, t every turn that you made, there was something there, you know, um, whether it was a jump scare or just someone creepy kind of hanging out there. So definitely, definitely one of our top houses here. 
Um, probably, if not, if not the best house so far. Obviously, we haven't done all of them. Well, fortunately, we're going to skip on them disassembly and also swamp because girls have to wake up early tomorrow. Yeah. Um, which is sad because disassembly, it's one of their new warehouses. Um, it's it's great. Um, it had a long wait, so we're going to skip that one. And swamp, uh, we could always take it or leave it. So yeah. that's. But um, we're going to try and catch the siren song and then um, maybe head on out after that. Both of those houses are repeat houses from previous years. So we've already done them before, so we don't feel like we're missing out on anything right now. We'll definitely do them in the future and, and show you all in a future video. Um, but for now, uh, we're just gonna pass on them. We just finished, <laughs> Carol, it is very humid. So humid. So, but we just finished with the siren song. It's excellent, very much more family friendly than the one in Orlando. Very family friendly. <laughs> but yeah, it uh, tells a nice little story about, I guess, stealing sailors, if that's what you call family friendly. I think they, they needed like a blood sacrifice to get justice for their mother or something. Yeah. Very family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> One really cool thing that we passed on the way out of the park was a commemoration for Dia de los Muertos, where uh, you can submit photos of loved ones who have passed away by 5 o'clock p.m. And then those photos will be displayed starting around 6 o'clock. Just a really sweet way to honor your loved ones who have passed on. So closing statements for Hello Scream at San SeaWorld San Antonio. Um, excellent. Carol thinks it's actually better than SeaWorld Orlando. I think so. I think they either had more money or just put more effort into i don't know like not that the orlando hollow scream was bad it was still really fun but this was just on another level i felt like <laughs> but um yeah it is super fun it is way more crowded because we went there last week on a saturday it was not that crowded almost every house was pretty much a walking except for one or two this one most of the houses you did have a wait for and part of it is um for here, you you don't have to pay extra to get in. It comes with either your season pass or just with your park ticket. Definitely worth checking out. Um, I will say it seemed like every house, um, just as a precaution, every house had some kind of form of maybe disfigured body in it. So you know, like if you have little children, just, just as a warning, you're like, you know, we'll probably put some B-roll. I'm not sure if I'll show any of the glory parts though. <laughs> but overall, it's worth coming and checking out. But hey, I wanted to thank everyone for watching. Thank all the scare actors for what you do. And, um, you know, just want to say once again, this is just very important to me. Just make sure you do your daily stretches because you don't want to pull a hamstring or something. But also, you like, like and subscribe if you want to. It's always fun. Till next time. They're giving out candy. They have where you can go and buy um, these bags. Oh, <laughs>